Hi guys, I got two boxes today. Oh, but I'm not gonna film both unboxings together. So we'll get them back to back and up within a few days of each other. Now, Mary said we should do this first. Okay, pretty things inside. This is a new kind of clothing subscription box called Short Story. You might have seen some unboxings on YouTube. Um, it is a styling service clothing subscription box like Stitch Fix, except it is for women five foot four and under. It is petite. So I figured I'd give it a try. Now this box is awfully small for a clothing subscription box. I am not close. They're really small clothes. Yeah, I'm petite proportioned. I am petite height. I am not petite width. Um, but I have a chronic problem in getting items that fit, especially on my top, because regular cuts don't always work on me. Um, so I figured I would give this one a try. I don't know all the details to it. So after I look at these things, I may add them in the closing remarks. And if you don't hear them there, it will be in the description box below. Click that and I'll have details, more details on how this works and a link to the site. But anyway, let's see. You have a blade for me to open the yeah. box? I gotta get some new blades. You do that. Oh. Got it. Oh, She's the it expert. Does. All right, life. so it opens like this, and let's see what the bundle looks like. Yeah, it looks like you put it right back in the box. I don't see a return envelope. Hmm. I did, they did send a preview of possible items, and there was like a v-neck, and there was a black top, and it's like, I don't like to wear black. I don't mind that it's an accent like this, but black overwhelms me if I wear just black. I like black. Yeah, she loves black. Um, dark dark colors mm -hmm. yeah um also i requested shorts as i did in my last stitch fix box and i said i prefer warm colors and light green so it looks like it looks like there's some black in there but there is also green and hopefully there's some shorts let's see how it is lovingly curated by short story oh www.shortstory.cc there you go all right so this looks to me like already it'll be a no because this, yes. it's a wrap dress. This looks to me that. like black, and I don't wear anything with a V. And I might not even try this on. Um, Y'all that know me know I don't wear anything that's open. V-neck or something like a wrap that's low. I just don't wear low-cut stuff. So that one I can just about tell you right away is a no. It's strange. It's kind of nice. Same thing here. This is frustrating. I told them try no V-neck. It's though. a V-neck. I think that's I love the color. I like the color. This is a very light material. Little top. Ooh. This is a Vince Camuto. I like that. I'm not a big plaid person, but I'm a big green person. And I love Vince Camuto tops, actually. And it's got a crew neck. So let's see how that looks. Okay. Oh, these are capris. Not sure about the color, because what do you wear with plaid pants? All right, but these are capris, and they have a little detail on the bottom. Right now, I'm looking for capris and shorts because I'm still wearing that medical boot, and that's about all I can wear with it. Skirts, shorts, and capris. And here we have... Those are nice. Okay. These are... I was really surprised at the price for this, because I think this was listed as $39 for NYDJ. They say legging 12 petite. They might be, I have had NYDJ skinny jeans before. They called them leggings, but they were actually skinny jeans, so they weren't absurd on my old frame. But um, hopefully this is a 12 petite. I'm looking forward to that. I'll have to take my boot off to try that on. Anyway, first box with anything. It's hard for them to find your style, but I know I said no V-necks. I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but... Um, I do like the prices, and let's see how things fit. So stay tuned. Cammy. Mary likes it. 
I'm not going to wear anything that I have to wear a cami like that under. Not. Cami. Sleeves are cool. This thing on the bottom, I'm shaped like kind of a plump letter A. I go like this, and this doesn't help. I wonder if it was belted. Hey, if it was belted, that might work. I took my boot off just to show you the pants because the boot comes over the end of the pants. Um, and they're not wide enough to fit over the boot. So I'm being a bad girl. nice. Um, not sure about the cut. Okay guys, wrap up. This is my third or fourth attempt to film this wrap up because I'm having some trouble with my recording equipment, so I hope I can get through this. Anyway, one item you did not see me try on were the NYDJ Alina, Alina, A-L-I-N-I, -I, leggings. They're listed on my a receipt as skinny jeans. They are listed on the tag as leggings. Uh, whatever they are, they're skinny. And they were too skinny for me. I got them on, I got them buttoned, but it wasn't pretty. So these are a return. It's a shame because these NYDJ, if you get that brand, you know they're like $114 to $124 for a new pair. These were $39.97. They were a great deal. Wasn't a deal I could use. They were just too small, which is a shame. Now, next item, here's the Vince Camuto blouse. Uh, this to me just looked way too big and wide. It had that kind of baby doll cut that's popular right now. This is the Vince Camuto plaid shades sleeveless blouse. It is $45.97. It is lined, it is a chiffon feel, and I, it just didn't look right on me, especially for almost 50 bucks. That is going back. The color, though, again, it's greener than it looks on screen. This is a mint green with a bright green stripe. Um, the color was nice. Now, this dress is a bone of contention between me and Mary. Mary loved it on me. I did not like it. This wrap dress, this is Jessica Howard, petite ditzy. That suits me. Floral wrap dress. It is $68.57. It is lined. It is well made. It's actually heavy and a little bit hot for the hot weather. I'd say this is a fall dress. Um, the wrap is open, so even if I didn't mind a really low wrap with a, a cami under it, and you need a cami under this. No matter who you are, you'll need a cami under this. Uh, there's no, like, snap. Some wrap dresses have a modesty snap or something to close it. It's just open. So there's no way I would be keeping this. I also did not think it did me any favors figure-wise. I didn't think it was that great. That is going back. And this item is, I think, the nicest item in the box. This is, and it is a steal. This is the Michael Kors Petite Veronica Blouse in Olive. It is $28.60. Um, the material is polyester, but it looks and feels like silk, like real silk. Actually, on camera, it's looking almost t-shirty. It's not. It feels like a light silk blouse. And see how it moves and catches the light? I like the sleeves. I like the color. I don't like the v-neck. And I also was not wild about this little sort of peplumy thing on the bottom that just sort of is added to the material. I think for someone that has hips, it's, um... It's not flattering to have extra material right at that spot. If you like that kind of addition on the bottom and you like V-necks, this is a lovely top and it's really comfortable. It is just not suitable for me, sadly. The price is great. 
So if you get short story and you like that kind of top, be sure to request that one. But for me, it's going back. And now finally, we have the Alfred Dunner Gingham Capri Pants. This is, these are $48. They have that little detail on the leg, the little grommets. Um, these are okay. I would not pay 50 bucks for this pair of pants. They were flat front, which I requested. I wanted a pair of flat front, either capris or shorts, or capris and shorts, so I could wear a thin t-shirt on top, and I wouldn't have a belt loop and a button and a zipper poking through the t-shirt. So she did send me flat front uh, trousers. Um, they're a very light material. I thought, again, they just looked a little dumpy on me. I didn't think they did anything for me. And um, also, what I would need solid color tops to wear with this kind of pattern, and I really don't have anything that would go with it. So they're getting returned also. So it looks like this whole box for me is a return. Um, please give me your own feedback and opinions in the comment box below. Now, um, when you get the box, you get this little uh, flyer from them and it tells what to do. You return everything in the same box it came in. They have a shipping label that you peel off it's sticky and you put it right on there and take it to the post office or give it to the mailman and it gets returned that way. They also have a feedback form, which I don't know what I just did with. Uh, it's on paper and you actually give your feedback on paper. You check off the boxes. Was it too big, too little? Any note you want to leave? And you put that paper in the box to return with it so they can better tailor your next box to what you actually need. Most subscription boxes that I have gotten, it's taken two or three boxes before they actually start sending stuff that really works for me. The one exception for me was fashion. Um, that worked well for me right out of the gate, and that's an unusual thing. So, um, fashion. And uh, this, I'm hoping, I am going to order another box. I'm going to order one in fall when I, I need more clothing. I want to give it another try because I really like the idea of a styling service for petites, for people with petite frames. So hopefully the next box might be a little bit more suited to my body shape and won't have any v-necks or anything really low. So anyway, I have a Grove Collaborative unboxing coming up. That is Natural Cleaning supp Supplies. That will be within the next few days. So anyway, if you like unboxing videos or this kind of channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I never say that. My kids say, Mom, say like and subscribe. So like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.